Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be making a fall treat that is a sort of candy kiss acorn. It's going to be perfect for Thanksgiving. It's not exactly what I'd intended however. You know I went in search of for some pumpkin spice candy kisses. Nowhere in the store. I mean it's not even Thanksgiving. Everything should be pumpkin spice. Everything this time of year. Um, so I was a little shocked not to be able to find them. Um, I did however find a bunch of candy kisses and these sort of Christmas themes. This one is still just like a chocolate, but it's like, a, it looks like a Santa hat. But you know, now it's the time of year where you're getting everything that's like the minty milk, milk chocolate. Not exactly what I'm going for, for my fall themed acorn kisses. Um, but you know, these are just regular, they're gonna work and it's fine. I mean, I've seen these online all over the place. I mean, if you were to Google um, Thanksgiving treat or Thanksgiving acorn treat, you'll see these all over the place. And you know, lots of people just put their own little spins on them. One particular like design that I liked was intermixing the regular candy kisses with the pumpkin spice kisses because the pumpkin spice kisses kind of have that orangey look, um, whereas um, these regular kisses are just typical brown. So we'll see how it looks. I mean, it's not going to have that variety of look that I wanted. Waited too long. Don't wait too long like I did. Do your Thanksgiving shopping early. Um, but then I also picked up these caramel kisses. Hopefully they will have a little bit of different color. Um, let's go ahead and check as a matter of fact. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this open. Aren't these cute? These are adorable. They're little, um, they just look like little Santa hats. I mean, it is the perfect shape for a Santa hat, but it is just a normal, you know, chocolate kiss. So there's that. Let's see if these caramel kisses are any different. Even if they're not, they're going to give at least a different bit of flavor. Because what we're going to be putting on these... Um, well, hold on, let me pop this open. Let's see real quick what it looks like. And it looks almost exactly the same as a regular chocolate kiss. So whoever's going to be biting into these will have, you know, a, a variety of flavors. So you'll never know what you're going to want to get. And that's kind of actually what I was going for. These are nice little colors. Um, you know, I wanted to have like a variety of looks. I didn't want like a platter of all the exact same looking acorns. Um, so I'm a little disappointed again. I didn't get my pumpkin spice ones, but you know, whatever. Um, and then I got these butterscotch baking chips. And these are just going to be used for like little dots on the end of the acorn. Um, and they are just a sort of light brown color here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, smell so good but I'm also going to melt some of these to kind of glue everything together and then for the sort of top of the acorn um, you could go with a couple of different routes um, I picked some mini Nella wafers and some little nutter butters unfortunately I couldn't find like a box of them I could only find these variety packs where they come in like this has two cookies per pack with only 18 packs in here so let's go ahead and pop this open and see what it looks like. Okay, I definitely got the wrong one. So I needed to get the mini Nutter Butters. So uh, this will give you an idea though of what it might look like if you were to do it right. <laughs> so just like the little thing has a little cross hatch here. And then we're gonna take it off, kind of put the little acorn on here. But again, you gotta imagine it in a tiny little thing. So. That's unfortunate, um, but I did get the mini Nilla wafers. So let's go ahead and pop these open. This says it's a 12 pack. But it doesn't say how many are in each pack. But let's find out. All right. I thought these might actually be a little tastier, um, but they're just a little plain little Nilla wafer. So when you put your thing on there, it's starting to look like a little acorn. Hopefully you can see that. And then we will top it off with a little butterscotch bit. You got a little acorn. So that is what we're going to make. Now the first step in doing this is to melt us some chocolate. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, so here is the concept um, acorn. It's not exactly what we're gonna end up with. What I did with this one actually, um, is I've tried to um, just melt down some peanut butter. Unfortunately, I only had this chunky peanut butter and it wasn't very good at all. 
Um, but it did work pretty well to sandwich um, the Hershey's Kiss to the vanilla wafer um, and as well the little um, uh, butterscotch baking chip on the end. So um, it was okay. I didn't like that it was missing the hash marks of the Nutter Butter. So what I did is I went ahead and made some using some melted down chocolate chips. I just put the chocolate chips inside this bowl, microwaved it for 30 seconds, stirred, microwaved another 30 seconds and stirred until it was this nice um, sort of creamy consistency that I can work with. And basically all we do is we take our Nella wafer. Let me just move this in here so I don't make too much of a mess. But um, as you can see, when you lift it up, it just kind of drips right off. I'm just using um, a little skewer. And then I'm just going to just draw it across. I did three rows one way and then three rows the other way. And, you know, you could try and be nice and make it look pretty, but well, I'm not doing that. I just did quick and easy. And there we have the sort of hash marks that you'd see maybe on the top of an acorn. So let's do another one here real quick. Shouldn't have put that off. All right, let's try this again. Just three this way. It's so easy. I did a couple of dozen of these just in a few minutes while watching some TV a moment ago. It's just quick and easy. And there you go. Just I always make sure to kind of scrape off the bottoms because it will um, get all over. You might want to wear gloves too because it'll get on your fingers, but I don't mind a little bit of mess. So I have um, the tops of the acorns. Now these are going to dry very quickly. So um, if you wanted to, you could probably take your um, butterscotch chip while it's still warm on there um, and just press it on. Otherwise, you're going to have to either pull out your skewer, again, just give it a little dab on there, and press it on top and let it dry. So there we're going to have the top of the acorn. Next, I just took a bunch of the Hershey's um, Kisses. Now I've just mixed in here the different kinds. I have some that are caramel filled and some that are just regular chocolate. All I've got to do is dip it real quick in the butterscotch. Whoops. I'm going to have a mess here in a minute. And press it against there. It's going to hold together and it's going to dry very quickly. So let's go ahead and pop that down here on my finished product plate. And yeah, it's going to be pretty messy. You probably want to put down some wax paper or something first, um, just so you don't dirty up your dishes. But there you go. Very quick, very easy. And it looks pretty much like a cute little acorn. I'm just going to put together another one here real quick. So I got my top. Now the other way we can do this is if you're real steady, you just take your butterscotch chip, dip it right into the sauce there, and put it on top. That's going to be your faster way. Might be a little bit messier, but it's certainly a little easier. So there's that. Take our chocolate chip, our kiss, dip it in there, and press. There we go. There's two. Now, you do want to be a little bit careful because if you're not, you're going to be getting some of that um, that sauce all over your chocolate kiss. This one's kind of starting to yeah, get all over the place. So you want to be kind of careful. And while it's still dry or wet, I mean, I'm sorry, you can dry it off a little bit and scoop some of that off. But let me go ahead and put together the rest of these and then we'll give it a taste test. All right, so there we go. What do you think? Now, admittedly, some of these are much better looking than the others, and they look. I think they're better looking because they're just cleaner. You really want to take your time 
um, and try not to be so sloppy. Some of mine um, are a little drizzlier. Is that a word, drizzlier? And others are some like this just got kind of um, off place, you know, a little bit, which I'm not going to fix because these are just for my coworkers and I don't care that much. But if you do care about whoever you're giving these to, again, just take your time. And I found that like when you are adhering the kiss onto the top, um, Probably you don't want to go overboard with um, the amount of melted chocolate that you're putting on there. Less is more, it sticks better, um, and you don't have that goo overflowing, making it a little less nice in some cases. Um, but, you know, it's a real quick, real easy um, project. You can make several dozen of these in an hour. I couldn't believe how quick it was. Um, I almost had three dozen done. Um, but I hit a stopping point just because my um, melted chocolate started started hardening too much. Um, whoops, that's the peanut butter. Uh, but it's about the same consistency as the peanut butter. Um, and that was after about 25 to 30 minutes. So I gave up at that point. But I got almost my three dozen that I was aiming for. Um, I had one, the final one, um, that I gave up on because I just didn't have enough goo to stick it on. Um, it's going to be my taste test because it, it is otherwise ready. Um, but let's go ahead and give it a taste and see how it is. Mm. It's actually fairly good. Now that one that I just ate was one of the pure chocolate kisses. I'll admit I've sampled some other ones. <laughs> as I was making these. And I I tasted the caramel one as well, which I don't like as much. Um, so the great thing about these are there, you know, there are so many different flavors of the chocolate kisses. There's so many flavors of the baking chips. Um, I mean, I used butterscotch. You could use the peanut butter or the chocolate or gosh knows what else is out there. Um, you know, the Hershey's Kisses, again, I wanted to use the pumpkin spice ones, give it a little variety. You know, the, op you know, the options are endless, whatever you think um, you, know, you can come up with, go for it. The only thing is I'm a little concerned about, especially with that caramel one, is that it's very, very sweet. So I'm a little disappointed I didn't have the peanut butter to try. Um, that might just temper some of that sweetness just a little bit. But otherwise, that crunch of vanilla wafer really makes it fun and I enjoyed it a lot. So um, you know, the other great thing about making these aside from the fact that you know it's homemade people might think you spent a whole lot of time on this when it really only took an hour is that um, it's not very expensive to make either and you get a lot of bang for your buck. The cost now Hershey's Kisses um, I got I don't remember how much these bags were but you know it's a couple bucks for a bag of Hershey's Kisses. The butterscotch things I got from Walmart they were um, two dollars and ninety-eight cents, I think, and you know I barely used half the bag, so you have a lot left over. Vanilla wafers were a little pricey, um, simply because I couldn't find a box of mini ones. I had to buy those variety packs, so that big box that I got was like six or seven dollars, is between six and seven. Um, so that was the most expensive part of it. But you know there's there were at least a dozen in each little mini bag, so. You could do many, many dozens for $10. So it's a quick, easy, inexpensive treat, which is up my alley in all those wonderful ways. So I highly recommend this project. Let me know if you're going to try it or if you have any other suggestions for fall treats. But that'll do it for today, guys. So till next time, take care and happy Thanksgiving. <music>